a hexagonal pyramid of base side 50 mm and axis length 100 mm is resting on GP with one of the base side is parallel to PP and 40 mm behind PP. The station point is 120 mm above HP and 160 mm in front of PP. It lies in a central plane which is 100 mm to the left of the axis of the pyramid. Draw perspective view of the pyramid. Here you can see the hexagonal pyramid of base side 50 mm and axis length 100 mm resting on ground plane with one of the sides parallel to picture plane and 40 mm behind picture plane. Station point is located on the central plane which is 100 mm to the left of the axis of the pyramid and 160 mm in front of the picture plane and also 120 mm above the horizon plane. Look from the station point to get the perspective view of the hexagonal pyramid. Here it is given that pyramid is placed on GP with one of the base sides parallel to PP and 40 mm behind PP. So draw the PP and draw the top view of the hexagonal pyramid with side 50 mm. Mark the corner points and the apex. Station point is lying on the central plane CP which is 100 mm to the left of the axis of the pyramid. Here it's given that the station point is at a distance 160 mm in front of picture plane. So mark 100 mm to the left of the axis and mark SP at a distance 160 mm in front of picture plane. It is given that Station point is at a distance 120 mm above the horizon plane. So draw GL at a distance greater than 120 plus 160 to 80 mm. Draw HL at a distance 120 mm above GL. Here HL and CP meets at SP dash. Now draw the top view to get the front view of the pyramid. Name the bottom corners and apex. Now draw the visual rays from the top view to SP and visual rays from front view to SP dash. Mark piercing points of these rays on top view with picture plane as A1, B1, C1, D1, E1 and F1. Project points downwards to meet the respective visual rays on top view. Connect all the points to get the perspective projection of the pyramid.